change that to logarithmic later um, but right now linear because I really want to focus on this end of the scale okay this end of the scale meaning right here is a thousand and right here is 20,000 when I change it back to logarithmic that will expose where my inaccuracy is in the low end which is just forward compensation at this point so uh, let me tell you what I have going on. I've got, of course, the Caruso preamp, and I've got this amplifier right here, which is just an off-the-shelf Sony amp. <clears throat> I believe it's 80 watts per channel. This is my sound source. Earlier today, I created two different files, which I put onto this portable recorder slash playback unit. Uh, one is white noise and one is pink noise. White noise is going to be straight across and I tend to find that that's actually a lot more useful than pink noise. Pink noise has actually a curvature to it. And so, you know, if you're trying to focus on nailing response right here, that curvature down is not necessarily what I want. Um, so what I'm doing is this. I am going to use white noise, which is straight across, and the way that I've built my preamp, I can switch it. I can switch between input and feedback, and right now phono is not implemented. I don't have the phono board built, but I'm going to do that now that things are rolling. Uh, also too, right now I only have the left channel wired, because I'm only experimenting right now with one channel, but also that's going to change because things are working great, as you'll see. So here is my, you know, this is my uh, one transducer. Okay, and it has two sets of pins. Uh, and I have a picture that I'll show you where I measure those out, right? Uh, one is the, the, the feedback is 10 ohms. And the drive is 8.8. .8. Though I really wanted it to be just 8. Um, I'm just kind of experimenting with different numbers of turns. So this one happens to be 8.8. .8 and 10 ohms for the feedback. Feedback is uh, shielded and by a number of things uh, and it's also implemented correctly okay and uh, so you'll see in a second so <clears throat> I'm gonna start playback on here okay and then I'm gonna switch to input right now so we're on input there's nothing going on nothing going on okay. nothing nothing and I'm gonna hit play okay And here's my white noise, straight across. Right. And you can see right here what my level is. My level is, ooh, I'd say that's, I don't know, it's at eight, negative eight, something like that. Anyway, we can raise it up a little bit. So why don't I do that? Get it up to there. Seven. So there you go. It fills the screen pretty good. Okay. And if I switch this to feedback, because I don't have any drive going on, this is my volume knob and it's all the way down, there should be nothing going on. <clears throat> there isn't. So input, feedback. 
If I can try to get everything in, in frame. So, also too, I have my RIAA set so that it's not in. So no RIAA, no EQ stuff going on on the amp. So let me bring the volume up here. You can hear it. Definitely helps. That's that's the magic part. Anyway, here, let me turn the drive all the way up. The air is thick with trees. getting same levels seven negative seven look at that response let's switch back and forth input hey right. oops shit <clears throat> feedback input feedback input All right input feedback You can see a little bit right here dipping off, but you know what? We're dipping off at 2100, so it doesn't matter. Right? Straight across. And then right here is the error point. Like I said, <clears throat> I do have, and I will flip this now from linear to logarithmic. And now you can see, yeah, great. But then right about here, if we come down, you know, right around six, seven hundred, <clears throat> which is actually really my resonant frequency. I'm off, and then also too, a little bit here. So I need to do some compensation there that's different than what's, you know, in the schematic for Caruso, which is what I built it for. So I'm doing it for Flo's head. I should be doing it for my head. So I'm going to go in there and change the forward compensation a little bit in the drive circuitry. But the point of the matter is I have awesome feedback and I also have awesome response right now. And let me flip back and forth again. So here's input and here is feedback. Input, which again, this area doesn't matter. That's outside of the audible range, right? Feedback. So I would call this, you know, my distinct graduation. Blade Runner is no longer an, a research and development project. We are uh, moving into production phase. Stay tuned. <laughs>